it going, guys? It's uh, Saturday morning, about and about. I am um, gonna go ahead and drive down to my local junkyard because I want to. They have a scale there, and I want to weigh this car again. I know what it weighed before the cage and before the shoot. Um, since then, uh, I want to say I've changed the uh, torque converter. Um, what else did I do? Did some other shit. Oh, fucking hell. I've done some stuff. But anyway, I'm not sure what the actual weight of this car is. I know that I've probably gained about 20 pounds. So, I don't know if you guys want to guess. Uh, basically, the quick rundown, it is a 2013 Camaro convertible with some suspension work done. Twin rear mount turbos, eBay GT45s. You can probably Google the weight of those. Uh, we got, uh, you know, piston drives, transmission's been fully built. Uh, we got a ZL1 rear end in there now. I haven't waited since that. Um, and, yep, that's what we got. We got, you know, we got the chromoly cage. It's a six-point roll bar, I guess, um, with a Stroud parachute, Motion Raceworks parachute mount. And, yep, go ahead, place your guesses. I'm going to end this video now. And unless we get into a race on the way down there, um, I'll just pick this back up at the uh, at the scales. Lady y'all. All right, guys, gonna be rolling up into the junkyard. They got the, that's what they got the scales at. Um, what are my expectations? I don't know. I'm really not sure. I mean, it's, I'm guessing it's gonna be up. Um, you know, I've done little stuff like a seat delete. I don't think that's gonna really have done shit. Um, but yeah, I'm guessing we're gonna be up on the way. So let's pause this. Considering the last time I weighed it, it weighed uh, 4,400 with me in it and half a tank of gas. I got just a little over a half a tank of gas right now. Um, the changes since I weighed it the last time was the ZL1 rear end, uh, which definitely weighs more than the stock SS rear end. Um, the cage and the parachute, which actually probably took some weight off. Um, and then I guess I also changed the inner cooler because uh, we did have a three inch eBay in a core and I upgraded it to a six inch on three in a core of which I had to chop out some of the bumper support in order to make all that fit um, and then what else? Uh, I think that's probably it so basically a weight gain of 80 pounds but with all kinds of different changes and stuff so that's good I, I am also I gain weight um, I'm about 20 over right now um, so good for an engine not good for a belly um, so we're gonna um, definitely get some weight reductions in I'd like to get this thing down but I, this is a street car even though it's like race dressed uh, I only really drive this thing on the street so taking out crash supports and airbags and shit that's not an option I'm not doing that like I'd rather be overweight um, so with that said maybe we'll my seat, my driver's seat, it's booked. It's booked. It's ripped. It's just whatever. You know, it's had my fat ass sitting in it forever. So we could probably switch that out. I'm going to do that after this uh, winter season uh, because it's heated and I, it's the only life support in this vehicle. I'm also going to be ripping out the AC and um, sticking in a uh, True Cool 40K um, to make some room for that. And the AC, the door flappers door flap is fucked up so I'm not fixing that I, I don't even use the AC anyway so we're gonna rip that out save some weight there and then um, maybe in, about in the next year um, I plan on um, doing an injector upgrade uh, adding a third fuel pump and we're gonna go ahead and get rid of the rear mounts and go with a single like 85 millimeter up front with a fender exit so I'm looking forward to that shit all right guys thanks for watching I will keep you updated have a great day